So the question here is, how many diagonals do these different shapes have? Here we have a four-sided shape, uh, a square. Here we have a five-sided shape, which looks like a regular pentagon. Here we have a six-sided shape, which is not a regular hexagon. And here we have a seven-sided shape which is a, not a regular heptagon, but it is a heptagon. And here we have an irregular hexagon. They're not exactly the same length, the angles aren't always the same. And a five-sided shape has the name pentagon. And the question here was, how many diagonals do these different shapes have? So if we actually, underneath the shape, count up the number of diagonals that we're able to draw. A diagonal is defined as going from one corner to the opposite corner to another of the corners. So square is pretty easy. There's only one diagonal here and one diagonal here. So a four-sided shape only has two diagonals. Whereas for a pentagon here, we should go from every corner to every other corner. So if we follow this pentagon, we could go that way, that way. And so we can see that... We're already connected to this corner, so we can't do a diagonal there, and we're already connected. So what I'd be expecting to see is I'd be expecting to see two diagonals coming out of every corner. So let's do that. There'd be a diagonal going up to there, and a diagonal going up to there. Here there's already one coming out, but there's a diagonal missing. We want two diagonals coming out of every corner. And now we can actually add up our diagonals. How many have we got? We've got, well, one two, three, four, five, no that one we've already counted, sorry, one, two, three, four, um, five diagonals. So we have five diagonals coming out of a pentagon, have we counted each one once? I think so. Uh, and then we've got a hexagon then, well a hexagon has three opposite corners that it can connect to, which means that from every corner we should have three diagonals coming out of it. So let's do that. One, two, three. This corner only has one at the moment. We've got to make one, two, three. This one has two coming out of it already. We've only got one more to make. And both of these two already have three because we've already connected from the other corners. And then we can just start counting up our diagonals. So let's, it's almost easier if we use a different pen here, different color pen. Here's one diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. So there's the nine diagonals coming out of a hexagon. And we could continue to do that. And the thing that's important to remember here is make sure that you only count your diagonals once. As, as your shapes get much larger, you're going to get a lot of diagonals. Because this seven-sided heptagon is going to have one, two, three, four diagonals coming out of every corner. Um, and, and, but each of the corners doesn't, is, is connected to two corners, so you only count the diagonals once. So it takes a while to get used to, and it's important that you make sure that you only count each of your diagonals once. And that's how you can work out the number of diagonals in these multi-sided figures, polygons.